So I'm just thinking that I got now about Mito, the men going their own way, philosophy. And I'm, I'm looking into this now because um, I realize that I'm, I've made decisions in life which have gone towards the Mito philosophy. And I made my decisions in life not realizing that it was related to Mikta. But it is, and I'm trying to understand what I'm doing in life, basically. So my decisions in life have been to um, no longer have romantic relationships with women. And the principal reason that I've decided this is that I don't want to have more children and I wouldn't be able to control more children if I was in a romantic relationship because that's not the way it works. The woman has control of producing more children. The man essentially doesn't have a say in the matter. A man is dependent on the woman's choice as to whether to have more children. So I've decided that I've had two children and I want to stop there, I don't want to have more children. So I realised that I can't have a romantic relationship with a woman because there's a chance of producing more children and I don't want to have more children. So I wouldn't be in control of my destiny basically. Now of course I can use condoms, whatever. But there's reliability issues and I don't like wearing condoms anyway. So I'm somewhat confused in life really. I'm thinking this that I can't have a romantic relationship with a woman anymore in life. That led me to start looking into things online and then I realised that there is a MGTOW community online, a MGTOW philosophy. And I made my decision about not having sex with women anymore, not having a romantic relationship. I made that to make sure that I didn't have more children. I didn't choose this because I wanted to follow the MGTOW philosophy. So I've made my decision and then I've discovered the Middle philosophy and it seems to be quite prevalent online. So I have looked into it a little today and it does seem to be what I've been thinking in my own life. So um, I've yet to explore it in much depth but um, my cursory look at it now have been to see it as it seems to be a separatist sort of movement from romantic relationships. Um, I suppose that's what I decided in my own life really. And there is a big loss of pleasure and enjoyment in life. My normal way of living has always been to be in a romantic relationship. So it was unusual for me to now be to not consider being single for all of my life. And it makes me wonder now what I will do with my life and how will I live. Um, I think there was an assumption within me to always be in a relationship. Life was always being, being married, being in a relationship, living a family way. So now in my situation, so I've had an injury in life, a brain injury, and it means I've lost my memory and I'm also possibly disabled. So life is quite strange for me and quite limited. And possibly it's my brain injury that has led me to think about Mita philosophy. Because um, after my injury, I've, I don't remember anything because I've lost memory. 
but I'm no longer with my wife, I'm divorced now, I believe. And the normal thing for me to do as a man would be to be considering a new relationship sometime. But I realized that I don't, I don't want to have a new relationship. And I think that's what led me to be looking into Mita. And I don't want to have a new relationship because I don't want to have more children. And I wouldn't be able to control that if I was in a romantic relationship. And I'm not keen on condoms and they could always fail anyway. So the only way for me to have control of my life is to not have a romantic relationship. So I've been thinking about this and I realise it's a major change of life for me. And I need to find something else to be doing with my life. To put my energy into and my focus. And I've had two children, but my brain brain injury means I don't actually remember my children. I don't know how old they are, I don't know where they are. But I imagine they're in London. There's a lot I don't understand about my life right now. So um, it's difficult for me to make progress on finding out about my children. Because even if I do find out more, I'm not medically in a position to have any relationship with my children. So it's a real mystery how the family situation is going to work out. So this situation has led me to think about the Mita philosophy. And I realized that I had chosen to go Mita before I knew what Mita was all about. So I decided independently to be Mikto and now I'm realizing there's an online community already for Mikto and I'm trying to understand how it works and what's been going on. So I'm, I'm in a zone now where I've decided to go Mikto and I'm finding out more about it and trying to understand what my life is now. Because my life will be very different to how I lived before and I really don't understand what my life is about now because it's always been automatic to be either in a relationship or looking for a relationship with a woman it was kind of the only way to be I couldn't imagine living any other way other than being in a romantic relationship. So I have decided that I can't do that now because I don't want to have more children. And there are also, there's also the issue that um, a man is in a vulnerable position when he's in a, a relationship with a woman because the way our society is structured today a woman could make any claim she wanted about my behaviour and I wouldn't be able to defend myself. I wouldn't be able to say anything at all to support myself. Our society is structured essentially to assume that a woman should always be believed and a woman is honest and correct in how she describes a man's behaviour. So basically a man having a relationship with a woman in society today is vulnerable to any falsehood the woman wants to say. A man is dependent on the woman being honest and fair with him because a man is basically vulnerable to a woman claiming that he behaved badly in some way. So a woman can harm him in life fairly easily because our society basically assumes the woman is honest and correct and that a man is most likely to be at fault. So it's difficult for a man to defend himself 
from for when when it came about his behaviour. And I want to protect myself from one having any more children and I wouldn't be able to control that myself. And two, any false accusation that I behaved badly towards her. I'll be very vulnerable to a false accusation. So I realise this is pessimistic and may, maybe not a fair way of looking at things. But the fact, fact of the matter is, a man is vulnerable to a woman's false claims of behaving badly. And the man can't really defend himself from that because our society is kind of structured to assume men are guilty or possibly guilty when they're having a relationship with a woman. So it's difficult for men to defend themselves from false accusations. And I don't like being in that position. So I have decided to forego romance with women because um, I want to be in control of my life and I want to be safe from false obligations. So I'm taking the costs of losing enjoyment from romance in order to defend myself from the potential for false application. So at the moment I'm comfortable with my decision. I think it's the right one for me. And I'm not sure that I had a choice but to do this. I see it as too much of a risk to have a romantic relationship with a woman as things stand today legally in the way society is structured. So I hope I can be happy in life and find something else to focus energy on. I'm also concerned about my children. So I've had a brain injury which has affected my memory, which means that I don't actually remember my children. Um, I don't know how I can have any relationship with them at all. I don't know how to be a useful father to my children. And because I'm divorced, most certainly, I don't know how any contact will work. And I don't know what I could offer my children now anyway. Life is extremely strange and I haven't worked out things yet. I don't know how it will function. So a, a number of things are happening and it's led me to think about relationships with women. And I have decided to not have a romantic relationship with a woman again because I see it as too risky for me to do that. I wouldn't be getting, I wouldn't be in control of my destiny basically. I would be relying on the woman being honest. I would rely on the woman not getting pregnant because I don't want to have more children. So it does seem as if I, I don't have a choice but to stay single in life. So I haven't worked out yet what my life will be. Um, I'm very confused by something. So um, I basically don't understand what my life is. And I've always lived a way of assuming I'll be in a relationship. And so it's a big change of life for me now to stay single in life. So I'm hoping I can find a way to be happy and content in my not being in a romantic relationship. And I'm confident I can make it work, but um, I, I plain don't know how to make it work. It, everything's very much a mystery for now. I do think it's the best decision for me, but um, I do have some thinking to do to work things out. So this is just sharing a world and communicating 
and hoping with my memory as well. So, um, yeah, I think I'll stop there.